What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new video. And today's video is story time about learning the hard way. And sometimes you just get lucky, but usually there's a little lesson involved. So here goes. And most of y'all know I grew up in Louisiana, in New Orleans. And over there, there's no mountains, there's no hills, there's nothing. It's flat. I mean, it's flat as a plate of piss. So when I was 40, I moved out west. And my first job was driving a truck, gas and diesel fuel. And most of my runs were from uh, Nevada, Las Vegas, to California and back. Just out and back runs. As soon as you cross into California, you go big hill, down and up another big, 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 big hill. And there's a sign at the top that says, downgrade next 17 miles. 17 miles is a long way to head downhill. And the grade varies in steepness from 6% to 3%. You know, it does that. And if your Jake brake isn't working, you're not gonna make it. You're gonna smoke your brakes and they'll catch on fire. If you're heavy, you know, if you got a heavy load. So here I go. <laughs> I was driving this Peterbilt 10 speed and I get to the top of the hill and now I got 17 miles to go downhill and I'm heavy, 80,000 pounds of gasoline. And I notice that the Jake brakes aren't working. When I put my foot on the brake pedal, the Jake brakes kick on. But when, as soon as I take my foot off of the brakes, the jakes go off. I'm like, what is going on? And I'm kind of going and something's not right. And I need, I, I didn't know much, but I knew I needed my jake brakes. So I tried calling the guy that owned the truck. He was an owner operator. He, I couldn't get through to him. I, I can't be holding down the brakes. They're gonna smoke, it's 17 miles. You can't just leave your foot on the brakes. Well, I knew I wasn't gonna make it. So I rolled down my window because I wanna start smelling when the brake, if you ever drove with the parking brake on in your car, you know that smell of burnt brakes or hot brakes. I don't know, five miles in, I could smell it. I'm just making up five, five, six, seven, whatever it was, you know. I can smell those brakes. I'm like, oh man. But I didn't know how long it took from the time you can smell them till the time they started smoking. So now I'm just watching my mirrors, watching my mirrors, looking for the smoke. I got a couple more miles, two, three more miles, and I could see the smoke. And I knew right in that moment, I was like, I gotta pull over. Now, you can't, you'll smoke the brakes just trying to maintain your speed going downhill. Imagine trying to come to a complete stop downhill. If just maintaining your speed smokes the brakes, now I gotta come to a complete stop. But like I said, the grade, you know, it'll go 6%, 3 you know. So I said, oh look, there's a maybe a 3% grade up ahead. If I can make it to that, that would be the time to, uh, that would be the time to stop. So I made it to the three and I just laid on them. They were already smoking, so I was scared. Like, what if they catch fire? I've got 8,000 gallons of gasoline on the, tra on the trailer. And um, so I thought, uh-oh, I'm in trouble, man. But I just, I pulled over, I got to the shoulder and the brakes were really smoking. They didn't catch fire, thankfully. So when I got to the shoulder, I mean, the brakes were smoking bad, like scary. And I was thinking, maybe I should step away from the truck. I, you know, I was pretty scared. <laughs> Finally, I get in touch with the owner. I said, hey man, the only time the Jake brakes kick on is when I'm pressing the brake pedal. He goes, uh, it's because you have cruise control on. Like. The cruise control wasn't set. You know how it's set. You turn cruise control on, you get to the speed you want to go, and you hit set. And if you hit the brake, it it cancels it, but cruise control is still on. That's what was, I'd never heard of that in my life. So I waited about 30 minutes for the brakes to cool down pretty good. And then I got back on the road. And I was able to make it down to the bottom of the hill. Now that I knew the secret, 
you know, of course I had cruise control off and the jig brakes were working fine at that point. So I guess the moral of the story is, or the lesson here, if you're driving, especially if you're driving, but I guess in any situation, don't panic. <laughs> it's better to just pull over and figure it out, you know? And especially in truck driving. In this case, I didn't know if I could make it to the bottom of the hill or not. Let me just pull over. Another lesson I learned right when I first got, was training to get my CDL. If you don't know how you're going to get out, then don't pull in. And I, that lesson stuck with me my whole career so far. But that applies to, to anything. It's just basically, if you don't know, don't take the chance. Not in a truck. Luckily, I kept a cool head and, and I made it. Well, that's the video for today. And really the point of the story was when a crisis arrives, keep a cool head, don't panic, stop what you're doing, assess the situation and come up with a plan. Don't take unnecessary chances in an 80,000 pound vehicle. All right, I don't wanna preach. So that's the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing. I'll have more stories, hopefully they'll be better than this one. I know they will, in fact. <laughs> but thank you for watching, and please consider watching the next one. And until the next one, this is Jason, signing out.